so now on the settings page the first thing we will add is the dark mode code so first of all right here instead of the container we will return a scaffold and inside this scaffold the background color will be this so if the color is is white is true then we will show the white else we will show the black and make sure to import this at the top then after this inside the app bar we will add a background color as well so we just copy and paste it then right down below the icon theme will be icon theme data in here the color will be colors I think it's color constants dot primary color then after this we will add a title so text and right here type app constants dot setting title and then in the style we will say text style the color will be color constants dot brand color then after this text we will add a center tile and set it to true so now if we restart the application so now we have a dark mode let's visit the settings page as you can see it is in dark mode and right here the settings color is red now if we visit it in the white mode as you can see now it is looking really beautiful so now above this stateful widget let's create a stateless widget by the name of setting page in here we need this and remove this whole scaffold from here okay and paste it right here and remove this scaffold and for now let's just return a empty container okay so now we have the app bar in our stateless widget now if we refresh it as you can see if you click on settings it is not showing anything this is because we need to change this to settings page so let's just minimize this copy this from here okay and right down below create a stateless widget by the name of settings page like this okay and remove this from here and then remove this paste that scaffold right here as you can see and change this straightforward widget so we can just simply remove this and type straightforward widget again and name this as settings page state that's it now if we refresh the application as you can see now it is running now if we visit the settings as you can see now it is showing the app bar now let's visit it like this and as you can see now it is working fine so this is our stateless widget in which we have this app bar 
and then we have this straightforward widget in which we will type all of the code for the body so for that see you guys in the next video